welcome back to another video. We're out here flying FPV today and I wanted to cover a topic that I've actually been asked a few times recently and that involves tiny whoops, those little itty bitty drones that are, I don't know, a tenth the size and way less than that weight wise versus a traditional five inch freestyle FPV drone. Tiny whoops are great for flying indoors. A lot of them are ducted. Some have open prop designs. They're these fun little drones that you can basically just bash around. They fit into really small spaces. They're not super expensive, but they do use the same technology that's found in most analog quads and in uh, most of the major radio technologies, whether that's ELRS, FR Sky, Crossfire, you name it. There's a whoop that has your radio type. What makes them really fun is they basically work kind of anywhere. If you're at a children's playground, you could take it out, go for a rip around. It's not too loud. It's fairly quiet. It's fairly safe. And so you can have a lot of fun flying in places that you would never dream of flying your big five inch freestyle quad in for a variety of reasons, including regulations and legal reasons. Getting back to the main point of this video, the question that I've been receiving is, should a whoop be your first drone? And while I think that's a little bit of a complicated question, and I'll get into why I think it's a complicated question, my initial answer is no. And the reason my initial answer is no is because I think they're harder to fly than three, three and a half, four, or five inch drones. The bigger drones do behave a lot more civil. And what I mean by that is when you input into the control stick, the weight and mass and momentum of that quad slows it down a little bit. So it's not as sharp, as pointy, as kind of overly aggressive and responsive. This is a characteristic commonly found in whoops. So when you wanna turn left and you input that yaw and roll movement, a whoop is just gonna leap towards that direction where a traditional five inch quad is gonna lean in that direction and kind of smoothly move along. Yes, you absolutely have more power in that five inch quad. You're gonna cover far more distance when you input those commands in that five inch quad, but the behavior is a lot more uh, gentle and civil. Obviously, yes, you can fly those drones in that aggressive manner and make them sharp, for me, I've generally experienced those quads being a little bit more comfortable to fly and get used to. Uh, I actually had a lot of trouble starting to fly with whoops because I did just that. I started flying with a Tiny Hawk 2 freestyle and then a Tiny Hawk 2. I got better at flying the Tiny Hawk after actually getting a five inch freestyle drone and a three inch cine whoop. And that's why I usually recommend people look towards those two types of drones as a first outdoor drone. Obviously, like every single other person in this hobby, my recommendation for anybody looking to start flying FPV drones is get a simulator, get a simulator, get a simulator. And no matter how many times every single person I know says that, and no matter how many times we give that advice or opinion, people still wanna get out, try the real thing, because it is, for me, again, it feels a lot more fun to go out and do stuff. Once again, I'll reiterate, the best thing to start with is a simulator. If you're not going to start with a simulator and you want to get a first drone, my recommendation is kind of split. And the reason I said it was complicated out of the gate is because there are some fantastic ready-to-fly kits that have a set of goggles, that have a radio, that have the drone, they're all bound together. You don't have to do much setup. It's pretty easy. Just charge the batteries, plug it in, and you're off to the races. And I think even like the uh, DJI Avada, even though that's way more expensive than any other Whoop setup, those ready to fly kits are extremely valuable to newer pilots. It reduces that barrier to entry and makes getting into this sport and hobby so much more fun. I don't think I want to call it a sport. Not a sport, hobby, activity, whatever you want to call it, not a sport. <laughs> Diverting back to the actual point of the video. I think those kits are incredibly good for a newer flyer and they do provide a really good hands-on experience. I really do recommend that Tiny Hawk uh, two or three kit. I feel like that is the best quality 
durability and flyability of the group. At the same time, just understand that if you feel like it's touchy, hard to fly, especially, actually, with all of that said, remember that flying indoors, you're still in a tight space. Even though the drone's tiny and it feels like it should feel like an enormous space, those little drones are still very, very fast, very quick, and very agile. So a, even a giant indoor space can feel small quickly. And that's why I think a lot of people struggle, is those drones fly in a very sensitive way, and indoor spaces that you'd think would feel huge just don't. They shrink down really quickly and can feel tight, cramped. You'll end up crashing a lot. It'll get frustrating. Hair will get wrapped around your motor and it won't spin correctly and you have to undo Yeah, flying indoors is kind of a pain. So my recommendation, if you do want to start flying with a Whoop, start flying outdoors with that Whoop. And the Tiny Hawk 2 and 3 are both absolutely big enough to go out to a playground and have fun, go out to a park and do a little cruising around. That's where I would recommend starting and learning to fly your Whoop. If you want, I think, the best experience of flying a FPV drone uh, for a first time, my recommendation would be getting a uh, two and a half or three inch Cinewhoop. Don't put an action camera on it, just fly those ducted drones. They are not the sharpest things in the world. If you're gonna try to power loop it and split S it and do all that stuff, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but just getting your feet underneath you, getting comfortable cruising around, flying in and around objects, shooting gaps, those are a perfect place to start as a beginner. And that's why I would really recommend, if you want a starter drone, if you want to start flying outdoors, get a Cinewhoop, get a decent pair of goggles, and get a, a good controller, something like the Zorro ELRS or a TX-16. Uh, I don't know that I would recommend, eh, I'm, in the, I'm on the fence about recommending somebody go try Crossfire maybe for the first time. It is very simple to get going and get set up and to use, but the cost of entry I think is a little too high compared to ELRS and the performance of ELRS cannot be understated. With that long-winded explanation of why I do not think whoops are the best way to start flying as a new pilot, I want to hear down in the comments. For all those who fly FPV right now, how did you get your start? Did you start flying whoops? How do you feel about flying whoops? Um, I know a ton of people who just fly whoops and that's their thing, uh, like YouTuber Nick Burns. Or you have people like Joshua Bardwell who rarely fly whoops and really don't like it for that same reason, because they're twitchy, they're kind of hypersensitive, and if you have the space like he does in his infamous yard, it's a lot of fun to get out and really blast around with a five inch quad, make some noise. It's like riding a dirt bike, kind of. For all those who haven't flown FPV, have you been considering getting a whoop? And if you do consider getting a whoop, have you considered flying indoors only? Or are you gonna try flying a little bit of outdoors? I would love to know what you guys are thinking. I absolutely will be down in the comments. I'll respond to any that I see, give my advice, give some helpful tips. Uh, and also another thing to consider too, uh, if you do feel like the drone that you purchased, the drone you're trying to fly is a little too touchy, it's not a bad idea to just try lowering the rates a little bit. Uh, Betaflight stock rates, which are like, I think the actual rates are like six, seven, five, something around there. Uh, they are pretty gentle, um, but flying something like uh, Evan Turner's 533 rates or uh, Vanover's, he has really, really low rates, like in the 400s, I think. Uh, so you can absolutely fly with lower rates and that will make it a little bit more uh, comfortable to fly and kind of cruise around slowly because it's not gonna be as aggressive. When you lean forwards, some more stick movement will be required, but it'll be a little bit more controlled feeling. The only time that'll really become an issue is if you're trying to do like snap rolls really low to the ground, that slower rate is absolutely gonna result in you crashing into the ground. 100% done that myself a bunch of times, but hey, if you're gonna get into that, you can raise your rates up, get those uh, spicy, zesty rates going, and I think that's it. I appreciate everybody joining me in this video today. As always, leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to this channel. It helps me grow, helps more people see this. And down below I've included links to my favorite uh, FPV uh, whoop kits, my favorite uh, three inch uh, non-ducted and uh, smaller cine whoop drones. So if you're a new pilot, definitely check those out. And as always, those are affiliate links. 
if you use them, they don't cost you anything, but some of those will give me a little kickback uh, that'll help me grow this channel, do fun things, build more drones, all the rest of that. And as always, thank you for joining me in this video. Talk to you later. Bye.